Hi and welcome. I'm Dr. Carol, the SBD. Today we're going to be talking about 4-2, fear of the unknown. If nothing else, COVID-19 pandemic has shown us that no one is immune to mental health issues. Just last year, we were going around with our normal business, with our goals, with our dreams, with our desires, with our plans, leaving out our New Year resolutions, and suddenly the world was turned upside down. I used to wake up some days and wish I stayed asleep. Cause I went to bed on top of the world. Today the world's on top of me and everybody's got opinions. They ain't been in my position. We've all had those days. Those days when you wonder, wow, what went wrong? Now how we are coping with the pandemic is interesting. For some people, they are spending all their time and all their energy focused on the past. All the good things they had that they've lost. All the amazing plans they had that never came to pass. And when we spend all our time and all our energy focused on the past, on the good that we've lost, or the plans that didn't come to pass, we predispose ourselves to depression. On the other hand, some of us are spending all our time and all our energy focused on the future that is unknown. And developmentally, our brain is geared towards thinking that what we don't know in the future is negative until proven otherwise. So we spend all our time worrying about what will happen to ourselves, to our health, to our children, to our jobs, to our economies. And interestingly, we all seem to look at the negative aspects of what may happen. Now, what are my five top advices for you during this COVID-19 pandemic? Number one, breathe. Don't worry so much. We have allowed the emotional part of our brain to overwhelm our ability to think things through. We are running on fear. We are running on anxiety. We don't know what will happen, especially when we worry so much about the future. So we are anxious all the time. We keep calling and checking up on each other, but more to see what is the latest that is happening. Who else is sick? Who else has passed on? We are running on emotions. So breathe. Breathe. Number two, stop googling. Some of us are more informed about the COVID-19 pandemic than WHO, and they're not even medics. You know every controversy, every theory, you know about studies that were done in the 19th century, because you are getting updated in real time. Every two minutes, every five minutes, you're updated on the latest that's happening in the world. Now, unfortunately, we don't update ourselves with positive things. We update ourselves with the negatives. If I was to ask you, how many people recovered from COVID-19 yesterday in your country or in the world? You have no idea. Am I wrong? But if I was to ask you, how many people died from COVID-19 yesterday in your country or in the world, you are very much updated. Am I wrong? So when we have predilection for the negative, we keep feeding ourselves negative information. And as we said, diet is not only what you eat, it's what you read, it's what you listen to, it's who you hang out with. So if you keep feeding yourselves negativity, you will keep increasing your anxiety levels. Number three, eat your normal balanced diet. Some people are actually going out of their way to look for watercress. What is watercress? And why do you have to consume it? Because we've read about it somewhere. Eat your carbohydrates. Eat your proteins. Eat your vitamins. Eat your vegetables. Eat your fruits. Eat your normal diet. Now, if your normal diet was not quite what it should be, then you can increase some of the things like vegetables and fruits. 
but you will not one day boost your immune system by consuming foods that you've never even heard of before. So eat your normal diet. Number four, stop self-medicating. As I've said, we are running so much on emotions that now we want to consume medication because you're, our neighbors are consuming the same. Interestingly for me, I keep getting requests and questions and queries about should I be taking this medicine, should I not be taking this medicine? And I start with a simple question, have you been tested? Half the time, no. But I have been exposed to somebody who tested positive. And I said, well, just because you've been exposed does not mean you'll get sick. So eat your normal health diet and get enough sleep. Reduce with the anxiety. Now, some have said, yes, I've tested positive, but I have no symptoms. If you have no symptoms, you have no need to be on medication. Eat your normal, healthy diet. You could boost up your vitamin C. Okay. You could also go and take a walk in the sun and bask a little bit without, contamin without coming into contact with people. But basically, if you really have no symptoms, then you have no need to be on medication. Now, if you have been exposed and you have tested positive and you have symptoms, please go to the hospital and be put on appropriate medication and you will receive all the advice that you need about managing COVID-19. Now, finally, please stop passing on negative information to other people. Stop posting on groups information that just serves to make other people anxious. Now, you might be very comfortable and okay with reading any information and dealing with it. Some are not. Some people in a group that you're posting have been sick. Some have lost loved ones. And they do not wish to be bombarded and keep reminded of all the information on COVID because we do not post the negative, we do not post the positive things about COVID. We tend to post the negative things about COVID. So next time you want to share something on the pandemic, please ask yourself, will this be helpful to the recipients or just increase people's anxiety? Now, on the other hand, as a group member, you have a choice not to look at any uh, pictures, not to read anything, not to listen to any audio, not to watch any video. You have a choice. You have a choice on what you feed yourself. So as we work together to deal with the COVID-19 pandemic, Please remember, no one is immune to mental health issues. So keep in contact with your friends, keep in contact with your family, through the phone, through social media, stop congregating. I know if one thing that the COVID-19 took away from us is what it means for us to be human, the social contact. And losing social contact has really destabilized all of us. But right now, stay away from your family, stay away from your friends, keep safe, let us save lives. Thank you and see you next time.